Hi, my name is Rachel France, and I'm Director of Biomechanics Education Limited. And I'm really passionate about getting the nation moving more freely. So this short video clip is to teach you how to test your pelvis to understand if you possibly have some dysfunction. Now this is common, not normal, but very common because we spend our days sitting at a desk. So this really simple test I'm going to take you through will also tell us whether you need to do an exercise, which I'm also going to take you through. So first of all, sitting comfortably on a seat where your legs are sort of level with the floor, parallel with the floor. If you cross one ankle over the opposite knee and try and stay nice and level through the hips, make sure the ankle bone is just outside the thigh and you have a gauge of how high the knee is off the floor. Now what we're going to look at is symmetry from one side to the other. So the comparison to that leg on that side is going to be the other side. Now if you cross over the other side and find that it sits considerably higher or there's an asymmetry, that's a good indicator that you have pelvic dysfunction. Common, not normal. However, it is one of the causes of um, low-grade low back pain. So what we're hoping to do here by identifying it before a problem occurs is reduce our risk of getting low back pain. So, really simple, sit nice and level, gauge how high the knee is off the floor, check with the other side. If it sits high, you've got an asymmetry, then it's a good indicator the higher side, there's something going on in there. It's not allowing the pelvis to move as freely. I'm now going to take you through the exercise, which is called the four sign. So the four sign test and the four sign exercise, again, because you're going to get in the same position and the legs are in the shape of the four. Now this release technique, is, it's like a muscle energy technique and it's the opposite to stretching, which is very commonly used to improve ranges. However, in my experience and in our experience as biomechanics coaches, more often than not, people are held in wrong positions by muscle spasm. Now you may have no pain from this muscle spasm, but you could get a positive test result or a, an asymmetrical test result on the four sign test. So the exercise is real simple, cross the leg over and then when you think about this movement, yeah, we're going to add resistance so that you don't actually move. It's called an isometric muscle contraction. So the muscles we use when we rotate the leg, up into the hand, down into the opposite leg, the rotators, are held statically in a contraction. Now we only give 20% effort, and then we hold for 20 seconds, and then when you've done that, you take the leg down, and we repeat. So you let the leg drop, hands on top, and then effectively you lift the knee, pressing into the hand, Make sure you're getting that rotation rather than just lifting the knee. 20% effort, hold for 20 seconds. Now more often than not, it's the 20% idea that most people struggle with. So, what I want you to think about is imagine the hardest contraction you can give, halved and then halved again, that's about what 20% is. The great ratio that we've come up, come up with over the research that we've done over the years is 20%, 20 seconds, four repetitions, so I'm on my third here, and we do that ideally four times periodically throughout the day, if you're gonna to continue to sit at a desk. So this actually could be quite an easy one for you to do while sitting at your desk, maybe continuing on the phone, don't tell the boss. Um, you can actually release your pelvis while you're there. We change sides, and we do the same on the other side. Ideally, over time, what you should see is that the knees start to get lower to the floor. And that shows that you're releasing the muscles in the pelvis. Take your time with this one. Have a think about that 20%. Try and notice the height of the knees off the floor. Maybe get one of your colleagues to have a look at yours for you. And then they can uh, do the test with you so they can maybe see better. And then we repeat, so two more on this side. So hopefully you're doing it with me now, are you? And then again, I'm going a little bit quick just here for the demonstration purposes. And ideally we start to get a more level pelvis. Now this alone has the side effect 
of reducing low-grade aches and pains if your pelvic dysfunction is causing that low back pain. It can help. However, we do strongly recommend that you go and see um, a practitioner who can assess you fully uh, before undertaking any kind of exercise. So if you'd like to know any more, call me, Rachel, 07976 933313, or you can email me, Rachel, at biomechanicseducation.com. Let me know how you get on. I'll be interested to hear.